What's going on guys? We're back for another video. This one's pretty exciting. So a lot of you know that I have wide body coming into uh, literally 20 minutes ago. I got the tracking information. So it's supposed to be here next weekend um, or this weekend, if not next. So I'm going to break down a kind of a two-step process of the uh, removal and the installation. And while we're in here, we're going to be doing some cleaning and stuff. Still got the other fender to remove and that's the one we'll be showing you all the things you need to take off. Um, probably a 15 minute process um, just to get them removed. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is obviously jacking the car up. And the back, if you don't know, you can go right in the middle and get both tires up, it's pretty stable. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our rear tire and this tail light, which gives us access to two of the bolts you need to get to in here. All right, so step one is done. We have this tail light out, which you probably can't, oh, you know, you can see in there, there are a couple of screws we have to get out. First, we're gonna remove, I think it's five or six, seven millimeters. There's one there, there's one over here, I think. One up here, there's a few. And the fender, take those out and move on to step three. All right, so the fender liner is out. Now we're gonna come up here. Again, these are Torx 15s. I know for a fact we gotta take out these five and three in the door seal. And I'll come back with an update on what we gotta do with all of these. I'm sure they all gotta come out. So that fender is still not completely off, but what I'm gonna show you is the bolts are still up to remove. Um, they're right here, and it's how it stayed sealed up against the bumper. You just come around to the side. There's two or three here. And then the other two on the top, you come through the tail light to get. All right, and that's pretty much how it's done. So um, just to confirm, getting off the uh, gas cap, all you do is you unbolt them. And once you get the rear fender pulled apart from these, because this is the hardest part, you've got to pull the fender out from under this to be able to pull it forward to get it off of these. And once you do that, you kind of just rotate the fender off and you're done. Now, hopefully sometime this weekend, I should be getting the fenders in and then the installation video will be coming up as soon as we're done guys. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.